This is Jill Bowling. And Nick Moser from Alex's Lemonade Stand. Everyone hates cancer. It's personally affected my family. And Alex's Lemonade Stand kind of takes a stand. And not only here locally, but nationwide people can get involved. But first, we want to know what exactly Alex's Lemonade Stand is. Well, um, Alex Scott, a girl in Philadelphia, had uh, cancer. And she decided that uh, she wanted to do something to raise money for her hospital. And it actually turned into a national effort. They've raised $25 million and stands have been set up all across the metro area. And because of our uh, personal connections to childhood cancer, um, we've now started our own effort here in Kansas City. Okay, Jill, what is your personal connection to childhood cancer? My son, um, at the time, he was three and a half last summer, actually June of last year, was found to have acute lymphoblastic leukemia. We, so we're still in our first year of treatment. So this oh. is a whole new journey for us, but... Can you tell us how he's doing now? Yes, he, um, it was June 22nd. He, uh, he was showing signs of several things, and um, by the time we actually got him admitted, they found he had 93% cancer cells um, in his system, so he was a very sick little boy. He uh, responded very well, uh, very well to treatment. Um, several blood transfusions, several platelet transfusions to get him to a fairly normal state where he didn't feel so sick. Right. Um, but we found out by day 14 that he was in remission ah. with 2% cancer cells. Wow. Yeah, and by day 28, he had met complete cytogenetic remission. So, and that's where we've stayed since then. Normal is a relative term, right? Yes, yeah. it's a new term. <laughs> All right, Nick, how about your personal story? How did you get involved? Well, uh, my brother Jacob uh, was 16 months old, and he was uh, diagnosed with neuroblastoma. And um, he actually had to go to New York for treatment, and he was in treatment for about a year. And um, thankfully, he did survive his cancer. He's in remission now. But uh, because of him and um, people like Jill's um, kid, we do this in order to uh, find a cure for everybody. Every family has a bout with cancer. And my parents are both cancer survivors. Everyone would love to be involved. How can we do it? Well, this weekend on uh, Friday and Saturday, there will be a lemonade stand set up at all high V stores in the Kansas City area. Um, from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m., you can come by, grab a glass of lemonade, and um, donate whatever amount you want to help childhood cancer. And, if you're, of course, if you're not listening in the Kansas City area, you can also go to our website at alexslemonade.org slash Lemonade, or, of course, um, right on kcradio.com under fun links. Our website is there. We are. The, so kcradio.com, click on the fun links, Alex's Lemonade stand. Jill, uh, uh, Nick, thank you so much for taking the time to sure. call us. We really appreciate it, and uh, we'll try to send as many people, not only here in the Metro, but, you know, we had people nationwide. I know, speaking of, you're talking about Pennsylvania, we have listeners in uh, Philadelphia, and I'm sure that they could go buy a, a lemonade stand there as well, right? Yes. yes. Thank you guys for your time, and best of luck. Thank, thank you. you.